morning, guys. First of all, let me wish everyone a happy new year and I hope you all had a great Christmas. I'd also like to thank all the subscribers and people getting involved in the conversations. We're now over 350 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. I'd also like to apologise to you guys because since New Year, there hasn't been a great deal of content. And the reason for that is my missus has gone to the Falklands for six months. So it's just me and my four-year-old, which doesn't really give me a great deal of time. So on to today's test. Last year, in the 24 kilowatt hour LEAF, I ran an experiment to see what would happen with a cold battery that was low on percentage, taking it to a rapid and seeing what speeds we could get out of the battery. And because the Nissan LEAF didn't have any thermal management at all, we were finding that the percentage, even though it was quite low, so there'd be plenty of space for the battery to fill up, we were finding that we were actually only getting about 20 kilowatts of charge. So now it's winter again, it's now the 17th of January and last night it did snow. We're now gonna run the whole experiment again, except for this time, it'll be in the Kona. Now I ran the Kona down to 4% last night and that gave me about 12 miles left, which brought on the turtle light, which uh, was a nice experience. <laughs> Nice to have 14 miles when the turtle light comes on because last time I saw it, it was in the Nissan Leaf and I certainly didn't have that then. Uh, so the car's been sat all night. We're now going to take the car. We haven't preheated it or anything. I'm going to drive it less than a mile down to the local rapid. We're going to put it on charge and we're going to see what speeds we get out of this. Bear in mind, this car does have liquid thermal management. So hopefully the car is going to recognise it needs to heat the battery and then it will be able to charge at a much, much higher speed. Right then guys, I'll see you at the rapid. Let's head off. guys that's us just about pulling into rapid we've now got still five percent on the battery and 11 miles left so the battery itself hasn't hopefully had time to warm up at all i've had no heating on hence the hat and the gloves <laughs> it's a bit cold so we will uh, pull up get plugged in and then see hopefully some fairly good charging speeds we've noticed though is although the turtle light is actually on it hasn't really restricted much in the way of speed at the moment um, I've still managed to drive down here on a 30 and 40 mile road so that's been okay right then let's get in and plugged in. Oh, it's nippy. Right then, so there you go. You can see straight from the off, we got over 30 kilowatts, which is more than we got last year from the 24 Leaf. So really happy with that. And within 2% of being on charge, we was already over 40 kilowatts. So big thumbs up, well done Hyundai. This is gonna be a lot better to live with, especially over the winter months. Um, 
and we even got as high as 46 kilowatts which normally when it's scorching hot we only tend to get 48 kilowatts off these uh, Charge Play Scotland New Style E-Volts. The other thing I'd like to point out is these Charge Play Scotland E-Volts, the New Style ones seem to be working differently to the Old Style ones. I'll put some pictures in so you can see what I mean through the different types. But whereas the old ones were limited to maybe a one hour charge, these ones aren't. These ones are limited by your charge limit that you set on your car. Now, I don't know if this is a CCS thing or a uh, <clears throat> just a thing in general with the DC. Uh, obviously, I didn't have the option to limit my charge limit in my 24 kilowatt hour leaf. But with this one, if I set it to 70%, the rapid knows my car is charging to 70%. So it will say my charge time left, remaining time is whatever it would say in my car, but only to 70%. Now, if I go up to 80 or 90 or 100%, the machine knows, and within two seconds of me doing it on the screen in the Kona, it actually changes it on the machine itself and then it will give a different readout for the new times that we have left. Now I'll put in a little clip now of me trialing this on the leaf, uh, on the Kona side so you, you're actually able to see what I mean by this. Um, and hopefully it's gonna be a bit of running around back and forth. <laughs> it's still cold, it's three degrees, but I've got my hands in, hats and gloves, so we're, we're all right. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put that clip in so you're able to see what, uh, what I mean. And hopefully you can see what I mean by that. Some ways it's a good thing because you're able to push the limits on the bigger batteries when you're traveling on road trips. Um, I'll probably leave this set to 90% when I go on a road trip because I know that by the time I've stopped at the service station, had some dinner for me and my little one, exercised the dogs, taken the little one to the toilet, it's gonna take me round about that time anyway. So I don't want it to stop and then the car just be sat waiting. So that would mean I'd only need to do one stop. Whereas if it was limited to one hour, it may cause me to need to do two stops, which the less stops I can do with the little one in the car and the two dogs, the better. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. See you again soon. Take care. Hey, mommy, love Hi, you. Hey, mommy, love you the most. I love you so much because I do, I do, and I do, and I love you so much. Bye-bye.